Good morning, or when you're listening to this, it will be good afternoon. Sava here from Sava Talks Football. Hope you're well. Thank you, first, first of all, for all the messages yesterday. A few people have heard I was ill and in hospital, and uh, a lot of people uh, giving me well wishes. So thank you very much for that. Starting to feel a bit on the mend at the moment. Um, what I wanted to talk today was about Tottenham Hotspur and about Hong Min Sun. Um, Hong Min Sun, he is not himself. This isn't based off of one game. This is based off of this season. Um, I've watched him play uh, multiple times um, for both South Korea and for Tottenham this season. And, you know, a hat-trick aside against Leicester City and a couple of goals against, uh, was it Lisbon or Frankfurt? I can't even remember now. It was so long ago. Um, I feel like he has been shocking. I, I, I think there's no other way to describe it. Hong Min Sun has got this kind of cult following at Spurs, rightly so, in some people's eyes. And um, unfortunately, those people won't be able to see anything he, that he doesn't do, if that makes sense. They will stick for, with him through through thick and thin. Now, that's fine. That's fine. We should stick with our players through thick and thin. And we know what he can do. But that I'm a realist. I'm a pragmatist. And I will call it as it is. And unfortunately for me, Hong Min Sun looks awful. Um, it's not just his all-round game. It's his body language, his attitude. Something doesn't look right. I'm not saying he's got a bad attitude, but he just doesn't look right when out on that pitch, whether it be for Tottenham or Korea. Watched him yesterday and a couple of times he sprung into life, but on the whole, he wasn't, you know, the kind of go-to guy, the guy you would expect to go and get the ball, try and make things happen. The guy to kind of cajole everyone, you know, it just felt like it was a player who was very unhappy. Now, there's lots that can be said about this with Hong Min Sun. Um, and, and look, I, I will probably get more stick than most for doing this. Sorry, that little bit of hair is really annoying me. Uh, and that is the problem with having a pug. Um, the uh, I'll probably get a lot more stick than most for doing this video, purely because I've always been of the opinion that I don't believe Hong Min Sun is a world-class footballer. And I stick by that. I've said it from day one. I still say it now. I don't believe his numbers are anywhere near world class. I don't believe his all-round game is anywhere anywhere near world class. I think a lot of Tottenham fans want him to be world class. Um, on his day, he's a class finisher, but his all-round game for me is passing, his his touch, his control, his link up. It, it's just not good enough for me to be called world class. Now that's fine. Not everyone has to be a world class player. But my question to you would all be this. Hong Min Sun is now 30 years of age. Would it be time to cash in on him? I'm not saying I would. I'm just asking a question before everybody loses their mind at me. The reason I ask is this. I put a post out on Instagram earlier asking about what's happened to Hong Min Sun and the number of different theories that come back from different fans is quite interesting. So let's look at them. The first theory you've got is he's just tired. All plausible theories, by the way. He's just tired is number one. You know, he's been running to the ground, like him and Kane have been running to the ground for six, seven years now. No rotation. They play every God-given minute for their country as well. Is he just tired? Plausible. Yeah, is he tired? It's a lot of football. You could then counter-argument that and say, well, lots of players around the world play as many games as him, maybe more. But listen, these are all just different scenarios. I'm just trying to get your perspective on it. Second of all, if we look at, is he bored? Somebody threw that into the mix. Is he bored? Is he bored playing this type of football under Antonio Conte, where the forwards don't get a lot of chances created for them, where it's more about work rate than actually enjoyable football? Now, there's a lot to be said for this. I, for one, everyone who watches my shows will know I'm not a fan of Antonio Conte's football. I'm not a fan of Conte ball. I don't think the players look like they enjoy it. I don't enjoy it. I know lots of fans don't enjoy it. Some will, and they'll just say, oh, it's Conte is the best manager we've ever had. But some people don't. And the players are human. They have emotions. I'm sure lots of them don't want to be playing this style of football. So is there that creeping into it with Hong Min Sun? Is he bored of playing this style of football? Does he just want to be playing on the shoulder and have balls fed through to him? I don't know. I'm just, I, I don't know. That was one of the theories that was put through. 
you know, under Jose Mourinho, when we had played like basically the two up top with Kane and Son, there was so much link up play between them. And that feels like it's kind of going a bit. Um, why? Is it a phase? And again, we've got to take this into account, guys and girls. Is it just a phase? Is it a period of time? Will this pass? Because it's been it's been quite four or five months now where this this just doesn't look right for Hong Min Sun. And by the way, before anyone has a go, and I know everyone will chuck Harry Kane in. I don't think Harry Kane looks right either. But Harry Kane is scoring a lot of goals. And this is the difference between the two players for me is I think Hong Min Sun, when he's not scoring, and I've always said this, always, everyone who knows me knows this, I don't think there's a lot to his game. When Kane's not scoring, I know he is now, but there's a lot more to his game. Dropping deep, playing midfield, controlling the game passing the ball out wide, finding those channels, trying to string in players like Barisic and Son. I think there's a lot more to his game. But could it be that he's bored? The third one, is he just not as good as some people thought? Somebody else levelled that. A tough one, isn't it? Because how good a player is, is in the eye of the beholder. For, for me, as I've always said, I think Holmin Son's a very good footballer. I think he's a very, very good finisher. I don't think he's the best footballer in terms of the ball at his feet, control, touch, vision. I don't. But he's a very good finisher. Is it just that he's getting on a bit? Which, let me counter that. Can it be that? Because just six, seven months ago, he's winning the golden boot and he looked great. So what's happened? What happened over the summer? So there's all these different aspects. Could this just be us as football fans going over the top, doing what we do best? All of us, all of us football fans. Wanting to make something out of nothing. Or is there a bit more to it? Top players don't usually have these types of spells. But I'm interested to know, what do you guys and girls think? Hong Min Sung. Another one was thrown out. Maybe he wants to leave. Maybe he does. Maybe he's got to the stage now. He's had seven, eight years at Tottenham. He's not won anything. Does he want to move? Does he want to move for that one last move in his career? Because at 30, how many moves have you got left? Does he want to try and go to a bigger club? Does a bigger club want him? Where would he go? At the moment, how he's playing, where would he go? Who would play him? This is the, you know, Bayern Munich have got Mario, uh, Sadio Mane that plays on the left-hand side there. Real Madrid have got Vinicius Junior. Yeah, Man City have got Man City have got Grealish, Foden, all of these different players that play there. So where, where would Hong Min Sun go? I'm not saying he wants to leave. I'm just saying that was one of the things that was thrown out. So there's all these different things that, that, that make it interesting. All I know is he's not scoring goals. He doesn't look happy. And I just wonder, is this the beginning of the end for Hong Min Sun at Tottenham Hotspur? I'm not saying for me. I'm just asking the questions. Players leave clubs all the time. And I know we're a bit sentimental at Tottenham. We don't want to think of him or Kane ever leaving. We did it with Ericsson as well. We did it with Deli Ali. Kept them, kept them, kept them until their value went down here. Literally with Deli Ali, the value went down to nothing. So what do you think? Hong Min Sun, does he need a new challenge? Will he come back after the after the the, uh, the the World Cup break and get back into scintillating form? Is this is this just a dip in form for four or five months? What do you think? Tell me. It'd be really interested to know. No doubt what, what he's done for Spurs has been brilliant for the last six, seven years. Personally, I do feel Spurs fans overrate our players so much. Again, if, if we look, take the example, I thought Benson Court played well last night, but again, I'm here seeing, oh, this guy is world class. We, we go so overboard about players. Hong Min Sun, his goal return. His goal return has been good. It's been good. If you actually look at it, it's been good. World class? I'm not so sure. I'm not sure. Well, I am sure that he's not for me. But you guys tell me. What's going on with Hong Min Sun? And please, this is just a friendly conversation before anyone gets all kind of in a cult and, oh, my God, you hate Sonny. Don't hate Sonny. I just appreciate that all good things come to an end. And I just don't know whether him and Kane, I don't know whether that is coming to an end, whether it be this year or next. I feel it's there. It's on the horizon. Anyway, please like, please subscribe. We might be back later for a watch along. We might not. Um, take care. Please like and subscribe. That would be really, really appreciated. And uh, let's continue the, the, uh, the chat in the comments. Much love. See you soon and take care.